It has been nearly four months now since a freelance journalist and graduate of Royal Roads University was almost killed. Chandler Vandergrift was covering the political unrest in Bangkok when a powerful grenade hit him directly as well as two Thai soldiers. The medics left him for dead, but his friends and fellow journalists fought to keep him alive. And today Vandergrift is in Victoria to tell his harrowing story. A news reporter Louise Hartland sat down with him this afternoon. She joins us now with more. Louise. Hudson, the one word Chandler uses to describe his survival is lucky. We warn you some of the pictures we're about to show you are graphic. I, I haven't seen it. this. Yeah. The, uh, the supper room in the hospital. Almost four months ago, photojournalist Chander Vandergrift was pelted with grenade shrapnel. For two months, he followed the political unrest in the Thai capital. You know, it, was, it was tumultuous and it was, it was violent. And all, it also was, it was fascinating, and it was a really interesting time to be in, in Bangkok. On May 19th, instead of covering the story, Chandler became the story. He was near the front lines with the Thai military when they were hit with a full assault. Gunfire spraying everywhere, and out of nowhere, Chandler and two Thai soldiers were directly hit with a rifle shot grenade. And I remember falling down, and basically, I was losing consciousness. And something was really wrong and I felt and quite honestly I felt like I was dying this was going to be it this video is from a feature-length documentary Chandler and his partners Nicole and Ian are working on about the Thai conflict it shows exactly how his friend and fellow photojournalist found him after he was hit and he was moaning but it was just kind of like a vacant stare Chandler where you hit Chandler was hit with 27 pieces of shrapnel all over his body. He was paralyzed on the right side and had broken ribs and is still nearly deaf in his left ear. But he says the worst injury, the temporary paralysis, came from three pieces of shrapnel that went into his head. And the neurosurgeon was able to remove two of them. But a third is, you know, it's, it's right in the front. So it basically traversed, you know, my entire brain and it almost burst out the back side or the front side of my skull. Chandler has no memory of anything until three days after the blast. He says the hardest part is knowing what his friends and family must have been going through halfway around the world, not knowing what condition he was in. And I was never really quite traumatized. I woke up probably the best way I could. You know, my family was there and they reassured me that I was going to be okay. And then it was time to recover. For Chandler, Thailand is home. He flies back to Bangkok on Monday to return to his freelance journalist job, but says he'll think twice before hitting the front lines again. Chandler is speaking about his experience for free tonight at UVic. The lecture starts at 7.30 in the David Strong Building, room C-118. He's also looking for financial help to cover his medical bills in Thailand. He owes $40,000 and also needs to replace $5,000 worth of camera gear that was taken when he was hit. If you'd like to donate, you can do so at any Bank of Montreal in B.C. or Alberta. There's a trust fund set up in Chandler's name. Hudson. All right, Louise, thank you.